Hi everybody, today I'm here to show you a little bit, um, uh, a, few, a couple hacks, I guess you'd say, uh, for what we call the, the Nico rig. And uh, it's kind of a fairly new uh, presentation. This one here happens to be a Molten Craw, and I'm using some Elastec Big TRD uh, worms to create this, this presentation. And I've got a 2 watt uh, drop shot hook in here and I'll show you a little bit in a little bit what types of hooks I use and we've got a Nico weight in here as well. I'm going to show you some of that in a minute but first I wanted to show you that, that this is kind of a hybrid of these two which would be the Wacky and the Ned rig and so you you take and these two are also very effective um, and I use them both quite a bit but the Nico is actually one of my favorites and like I said it would be a hybrid of that and I'll show you the parts that you'll need and the tools that you'll need to create these and the sizes that I use. Okay, here's some of the things you'll need. First of all, you'll need the plastic here, and this is the, the Nico here that comes in the Elastec uh, package, uh, Molten Craw 4 inch. And like I said, I like I said, I like to use the molten craw. Um, uh, you know, depending on where you're at, location in the water, and what the bass are feeding on, it could be it could change. There's lots of colors to choose from, um, but I choose this here. And then also, you know, you're going to need a Nico weight, and you can use the stick weights, but I like to use the half moon here. Um, number one is that I can make I create a black head on there. Looks like the head of that worm there. And I, I use a Sharpie to do that with. You're going to need some super glue, a lighter, and some needle nose pliers. Um, you'll also eventually need some hooks. Here's, here, I use these 1-0 and 2 watt VMC Weedless Nikos. And I also use the Octopus Drop Shot. And if you're on a budget, this is, might be the way to go here. Um, but well, I'm going to show you here um, how to create these. Um, one thing you don't remember is that uh, you got to be careful of the heat that you use uh, in melting. As you can see, I've melted this one a little bit too much and they won't work as well. If you're trying to just probe this, it, it, it just won't go in there, you know. And that's just what I found in the beginning. So what I did is I took my pliers and I just heat up the nail just enough to get it warm and then I stick the worm on there. You got to make sure you stick it. And it doesn't go all the way on, just remelt it again. But you can see there, uh, I've got it on there pretty good. Now, the thing was I started using these and I would fish it and then the head would fall out. So to cure that, I just took a little dab of super glue a tiny bit if it'll come out of there right there we go you just need a little bit of a dab and then stick that in there real good and sometimes your marker might come off a little bit so I just redo that a little bit too and then the last thing you do is I like to have the dark side up and I just skin hook it and that hook is standard pretty good and you can use an O-ring if you'd like, but I generally don't. And then, there you go. There's your Nico. And I'll show you some more examples here in a sec. I, I did want to mention that these, these Half Moon um, Wacky weights, uh, they do come in three different sizes. Um, you can get them in 1 16th, 1 8th, and 3 16th. My favorite is the 1 8th. Um, as you can see here, I have all three sizes here. The heavier one might be deeper water, medium one, I just use it for a lot of different things on rock jetties and so forth and then weeds. And then the, the lighter one is like super shallow, you know, water's coming up and, and uh, the fish are up there feeding. This is a great one to use there uh, when you're fishing. Now, you don't have to just use the Elastec worms. You can use uh, I've, I've got craws rigged up. As you can see here, I've got the Nico in the tail end here. Um, got the hook here. And, and of course, when this is in the water, those, these claws float on this one, of course. And uh, this is a nice finesse uh, app, or a presentation as well here. 
Um, I've got a, here's a nice little worm. And I've got a, I, you can use a wacky hook as well. Some of these you may not have to heat up on this regular plastic, but um, most of the time I do. And I, like I said, I super glue those in. Um, here's another, here's a large Senko that I've, I've uh, created my own band on there. But that's a, that's, that's a big profile there for a bass. And then uh, you got snakes, you got some snake type lures you can use. Just about anything that's plastic you can Nico about a third of the way up. But here's a, a unique one, the Rage Craw, and these, th this is a really good one. And of course I got the Nico stuck right here as well. And then uh, here's, here's another craw, and then uh, another craw I've got, and then uh, a, a Cinco type worm that you can use. What you create is this action up here, and, and the bass just can't resist that. Now the, the next piece of gear that I'll talk about here is the rod and reel that you'll use. Um, I use a spinning outfit with this. And uh, here I have a carbon light uh, Johnny Morris Bass Pro Shops rod and six foot eight. Uh, this is a medium action with an extra fast tip. Um, you can use a fast, you can use a medium to a medium light rod. Um, I, mine go from six foot to seven foot generally. And then the line I use is either 10 to 15 pound braid. Sometimes I go to 20 depending on what I've got, what I'm fishing in uh, as far as vegetation. And then um, I use, uh, this is one of my favorite lines and uh, one of my friends, uh, James Francis, turned me on to this here, uh, uh, Super Sniper uh, Sun Line. It's very durable. As you can see, I use uh, 14, 16 pound. You can go down to eight to 10. Um, I tournament fish a lot, so I generally go with the heavier one, but I, I've had no issues with using this line. Um, and I connect it with a lefty cray knot uh, for, to the leader about five, six foot, sometimes longer. And uh, I use a, a 5.2 to a 6.0 ratio on my reel. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I hope to have more tips here in the future for you on finesse fishing. Thanks.